yes yes and yes good morning to you and i believe that you are fine hallelujah we are sharing truth this morning on the need for staying power coming from mark chapter 14 43 through 52. you are warmly welcome to the really really knowing god channel with me pastor larry adeneko this channel is packaged to inform as well as inspire you into a real knowledge of god richer knowledge of god <coughs> powered by the pastor larry adeneko center for inspiration the placa <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and you want the finest quality of it, this is the place to be. And we are praying. Our Father and God, we bless you and give you glory. You are good. Your mercy is endure forever. And you have been a great help to us, Lord God, every day here. Thank you for health. Thank you for everything. Take all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. As we share with your people this morning again, O oh God, we ask that your grace will company with us all the way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, we said um, 43 right so then <clears throat> and immediately while he was still speaking judas one of the twelve with a great multitude with swords and clubs came from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders now his betrayer had given them a signal saying whomever i kiss he is the one seize him and lead him away safely as soon as he had come immediately he went up to him and said to him rabbi rabbi and kissed him then they laid her hands on him and took him and one of those who stood by drew his sword struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his hair. Jesus answered to them, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. They all forsook him and fled. <coughs> Excuse me. Now a certain young man followed him, having a linen cloth around his naked body. And the young man and the young men laid hold of him, and he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do uh, in just this uh, uh, two paragraphs very quickly. So, um, remember that um, Jesus said to the disciples, uh, not to worry anymore, let's be going, my betrayer is at hand. And we said a couple of things about that, how the Lord was able to perceive things in the Spirit. You remember we said all that. Okay, so while he was yet speaking, like I said, it was like that darkness was closing in, was closing in. Some things were happening in the spirit and they were manifesting physically. So that's why I said, you know, everything is very, very close. And it's so good for us to be able to sense things this way. Um, and may God help our generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He knew that this thing was really close. He, he didn't see anything yet, but he knew that things were close. And while he was yet talking, the Bible says that Judas, one of the twelve, came with a great multitude with swords and clubs and came from the chief priests and elders, you know, and he had given them a signal. So he went on and just uh, uh, kissed the, the Lord. Of course, the Lord knew all that was going on. So uh, he kissed him and they laid hands on him. They took him. Now, one of the people struck off the servant's uh, the, the air, you know, and cut off his hair. Well, Mark wasn't going to mention any name here, but we have read from other places that actually was Peter or Simon Peter that did all that and Jesus got it healed and all that. But Jesus answered and said, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I was with you in the temple, you know, daily teaching and all that, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Let me again talk about the scriptures must be fulfilled i've said it many many times there when things are written there's nothing we will know to do they will happen and so there's no need to um <laughs> begin to use some scriptures to scare the brethren those things were not written to scare anybody they were written so that we may know that this is god has said it before and it's going to happen so that we can see a pattern that is god when he says something they will happen nothing will prevent them from happening he's not supposed to scare us we are people of victory we are the triumphant people who are part of the triumphant church the triumphant christ that is the theme of the book of the revelation is the triumph of the church it is not the triumph of the antichrist no none at all but once something is written it shall be fulfilled now this christ was going to be seized this way it was going to be mocked it was going to be embarrassed it was going to be punished it was going to be made to go through a lot everything was written and he prayed because he knew that this wouldn't happen father if it was possible but anyway uh, let your will be done it, it says 
this is happening now because the scriptures must be fulfilled. That's it. That's why you are able to arrest me because no matter what the case may be, it shall be fulfilled. No matter what we know to do, it shall be fulfilled. Some of us have a way of behaving as if we are um, fighting on behalf of God, you know, and all those things. No matter how much what you know to do, they will happen. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that uh, they all forsook him and fled. All the disciples it wasn't only peter everybody they all ran away <clears throat> okay now it says but a certain young man followed him having the linen cloth around his naked body and the young men laid with him he left the linen cloth and fled away from them naked <clears throat> now the way he has written this thing you would know that he was talking about himself this john mark the person who wrote this book you know that he was talking about himself now there are certain other things that we read about john mark later in the course of his uh, traveling with paul and barnabas you remember all that how that he got to a particular point and he wasn't going anymore and you know he had to be had to go back and paul didn't enjoy it at all now what did we see here and I, I think we should learn something big from here. This man, when the Bible says they all forsook him and fled, this man did not flee. This John Mark did not run away. He followed on, you, you know, he followed the Lord. He had just a little cloth around his body, but he followed the Lord. He went further than these other people did. Okay, now so also there are some of us today, we will embark upon some project and we will go on. But because we lack staying power, for some reason, somewhere along the line, we will turn back. This John Mark seemed to have that problem with his staying power. Here, he went further, but his staying power could not make him go all the way. So at a point in time, when somebody says, you, you know, he just took off. The same thing, he went with Paul and Barnabas. That same problem, that lack of staying power affected him again. He turned back. He would not continue with them in, uh, to the walk. That's to, to quote Paul now. He turned back. And that leads me to the issue of the staying power. It is important for people to develop that staying power. That when you start a thing, you follow it until you get to the end of it. Jesus was the one that said, it's not somebody who starts someone, um, starts something that gets blessed. is the one who starts and concludes it that's the person that gets blessed that's what jesus said so also we must learn to make sure that we have this same power if you are listening to me this morning and you know that you have that issue you start something abandon it midway you start something abandon it with me you begin a journey and stop on that journey go back and then take another journey that one you will not conclude again you stop there and go back you have an issue with this same power thing and it is very very important to have this same power that when you um, 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 embark upon a project you are saying to yourself i'm going all the hog i'm going the whole hog i'm taking it to the logical conclusion i'm taking it to the end nothing will stop me i'll overcome every hurdle every obstacle i'm going to overcome and i'll carry this thing through i'm going to get it all done yeah this is very very important there are many many people um that today have found themselves living beneath lower than the kind of destiny that God arranged for them because of this particular thing. And I pray that somebody will be inspired, inspired this morning, you know, to really go the whole hog and learn to have staying power when you start something carry it through do not abort midway do not get discouraged midway and come back and then you start another one and, and, and all those things it is important that when you start a thing make sure you carry it to logical conclusion very very important because you see a pattern in the life of this young man and um, we can learn from there that's why the, that's why we have the bible so i want to encourage you today you who have abandoned something Pick it up again, dust it and say this time around I'm going to see it to the, to the logical conclusion and the Lord indeed will bless you for it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much for being there. Have a wonderful day.